Hey guys, it's Big Ahan, and I just got back from a backstage look at the new Minecraft Survival Games map that World of Esports will be hosting soon. As you can see from the gameplay, it's a very large map with multiple levels where you'll be forced to face different themed challenges based on which level you're on. Based on what I've seen so far, I'm going to have to recommend that anyone who participates in this tournament has a very, very high skill level in basically all things Minecraft. If you don't know what you're doing when it comes to fighting or jumping puzzles or anything similar to this, you're going to have a very hard time when it comes to the challenges that you're going to be faced with. Now, I don't want to discourage anyone from participating in this tournament, as there is a very significant prize to the winner. The prize is a total of 20,000 Microsoft points to the player who wins this tournament. Now, this is a very large prize in terms of any competition on Xbox, be it Minecraft, be it Call of Duty, be it any sort of tournament. And it's for a single person, so you're not going to have to worry about splitting it between teammates or anything like that. It's a single person prize. However, you got to make sure to keep in mind that you have to know what you're doing in Minecraft if you enter this tournament. It's not going to be easy if you don't. Now, throughout your experience in the map, you're going to be posed with many different choices, some of which could result in your death, some of which could result in various prizes that could give you advantages when it comes to competing with the other players. Along with this, there are many different styles of uh, challenges you'll be posed to face, such as TNT mazes and timed puzzles where you only have a certain amount of time to complete the obstacle before you're basically put to death. Your main objective throughout your experience in the map is to try to progress through the map as fa fast as you can, basically. Now, by this I mean you should really be trying to get as high up in the levels as possible. However, there will be multiple rounds where you'll be facing different opponents and the person who wins that round will move on to the next round where they'll be using higher up levels of the map against the people who won the previous rounds against other opponents. Now, I don't have much time left to tell you much more about the map, but this is all the gameplay I was able to gather from my short time that I spent viewing it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions regarding it, just leave them in the comments.